Welcome to this session on Vibrio, a significant bacteria. Vibrio species are gram negative, oxidase positive, and shaped like short rods. They are actively motile, exhibiting darting motility due to the presence of a polar flagellum. One of the well known species is Vibrio cholerae, the causative agent of cholera. Now, talking about the morphology of Vibrio cholera. They are non-sporing and non-capsulated bacterium. They measure approximately 1.5 by 0.2 micrometers and show distinct darting motility under the microscope. In a pure culture, Vibrio cholerae appears gram-negative, comma-shaped rods. Staining helps to differentiate it from other bacterial species. Vibrio cholerae is strongly aerobic and grows best in an alkaline medium with a pH of 8.2. On nutrient agar, the colonies appear moist, translucent, round disc with a bluish tinge. On McConkey agar, colonies are initially colorless but turn red after prolonged incubation. These are the different species of Vibrio grown on nutrient agar medium. This is how Vibrio cholerae looks like when grown on different medium. On blood agar, the classic strain does not cause hemolysis, but the EI tor strain produces hemolysis. In peptone water, a surface pellicle forms. Common transport medium include the Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan medium or VR medium and Carry Blair medium, which maintains a high pH. If no transport medium is available, blotting stool samples onto thick blotting paper is a practical alternative. Enrichment media include alkaline peptone water and Monso's torocolate telluride peptone water. For selective plating, alkaline bile salt and Monso's gelatin torocolate triptychase telluride agar that is GTTA are commonly used. Thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose that is TCBS agar is the most commonly used medium with a pH of 8.6. Okay, so this is uh, VR medium that is uh, highly used for transportation and Cali Blair medium. Then these are the mediums that I discussed just now. The medium that is uh, used for enrichment and this is how Vibrio cholerae looks on TCBS medium. The TCS, TCBS medium consists of sodium thiosulfate, sodium citrate, bile salt, sucrose and ferric citrate among other components. They appear yellow color on TCBS medium. Now these are some of the biochemical tests that confirm the presence of Vibrio cholerae in a sample. The biochemical profile of Vibrio cholerae includes catalase, so they are catalase positive, oxidase, they are oxidase positive, they can ferment glucose without gas, mannitol, sucrose and maltose. They are indole positive, nitrate reduction test is positive, gelatin hydrolysis is positive, Lysine decarboxylase is positive and they are negative for lactose, urease and BP that is works prosker. The cholera red reaction is a classical biochemical test for cholera toxin production. So these are the tests that I was talking about. Now these are the different groups of Vibrio. So, Group A and Group B. Group A are biochemically similar having common H antigen and Group B they have biochemically and antigenically they are heterogeneous. So the Vibrio cholerae we are talking about now they, they are part of Group A. Vibrio cholerae possess somatic O antigen and flagellar H antigen. It is classified under Gardner and Venkitraman system with 139 
O serotypes. Vibrio colony is further divided into group A, biochemically similar strains, and group B, they are heterogeneous. Now the toxins produced by cholera. Vibrio cholerae produces cholera toxin, which is also known as cholera gen, a heat labile exotoxin. The toxin consists of two fractions, A1 and B5. This toxin is responsible for disease severe diarrheal symptoms. Cholera caused by Vibrio cholerae is an acute diarrheal disease marked by rice watery stools. The disease has led to several pandemics and is particularly prevalent in regions like India and Bangladesh. So this is the mechanism of uh, how they act on the entire human system and how they cause rice watery stools. Now the lab diagnosis. The specimen of choice for diagnosing cholera is a rice watery stool or a rectal swab. Selective media such as TCBS and Monsos GTTA help in isolating the bacterium. Colony morphology on TCBS appears yellow while on McConkie agar colony starts pale and red, turn red after extended incubation. Gram staining of isolated colonies show comma shaped gram negative rods. Now what are the vaccinations that can be used against uh, Vibrio cholerae? So there are several vaccines available for cholera. Killed parental vaccine, example Ogawa and uh, Inaba strains. Killed oral vaccines, B subunit whole cell vaccines. Live oral vaccines produced using recombinant DNA technology. Now these are the different media, transport media, then uh, enrichment media. Other species in uh, Vibrio genus include uh, Vibrio parahemolyticus and Vibrio velinificus, which are halophilic and found in marine food. These Vibrios require NaCl for growth. The Kanagawa phenomena is associated with the hemolytic activity of some vibrios, particularly V parahemolyticus. Related genera such as aeromonas, plesomonas are also gram negative motile oxidase positive organism with species like aeromonas hydrophila and plesomonas shigeloids. So these are the vaccines that can be used. And these are the references for this module. In this session, we explored Vibrio cholerae, its diagnostic methods and key characteristics. We also touched upon other halophilic Vibrio and their clinical significance. Thank you.